Today is Saturday the 13th of uh, January 2024. Uh, there's a worldwide grassroots protest um, against the genocide that has been carried out against Palestinian children and their families by the Israeli regime. We're going to be interviewing people who have joined us from many parts of the world to take part in this weekly demonstration we hold in Letterkenny uh, and to tell us a little bit about themselves and ask them do they have a message for the Irish people and in particular for our leaders in the Irish government. We should take action against the State of Israel, we should impose sanctions, we should uh, prosecute them in the International Criminal Court uh, the way that South Africa is doing, we should give them our complete support. Uh, I'm here to support, um, I'm here to support Palestine, I'm here to support the end of the genocide. We want to stop it now. Do you have a message for the Irish people and for our leaders in particular? Get out, like, you know, do as much as you can. Like, it might not be able to do much, but it means a lot, really. To do you think the Irish government should support the South African absolutely. action at the International Court 100%. of Justice? Yeah. We should be, uh, we, like, given our history, we should be able to help, you know, other oppressed peoples around this world. Unfortunately, we don't. Maybe that goes to the history of the Irish Free State and all that, but yeah. Do you see a big gap between our Irish leaders and our elite absolutely. establishment and the grassroots views of the Irish people oh, on the genocide? Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. And I understand you, sir, are from Gaza. Gaza, Would you like to share a few words with the people of Donegal? Good. What are you doing to help Gaza? They have everything. Sometimes I send money because I have my family in northern Gaza. Oh my gosh. Where's the border? Where's Beit Hanun? Here is. Oh my gosh. Where's the bomb bomb? Where's the Mutnaya? All the time. Your family are in northern Gaza being yeah, bombed by the Israelis as we speak. Yeah, of course. I have nearly maybe 60. 60 persons from my family. 60 members of your extended family. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of ways to describe it. The genocide. 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 Uh, there's 20, 000, over 20,000 dead women and children in the main. Uh, infrastructure, hospitals, schools, and everything getting attacked. It's been actually something that this uh, Irish lawyer said. It's the first time in, that people are out for themselves themselves getting genocide. The first time. Murdered, first a live action, live, genocide. live action genocide. Thank you. Uh, now, do you have a message, a brief short message you'd like to give to the people uh, of Ireland and their leaders? Yeah, particular leaders, but the Irish people in general as well. I just like the people they say get off their backsides and do something about it. Um, just apply pressure to the politicians that they do something. If they're forced to do it, they will do it.